Hello Cinemappers and welcome to the new movie releases for the 24 of February. Let's start with a movie that is having quite a momentum in the social media, Cocaine Bear. As summarized by Rotten Tomatoes, the movie is inspired by the 1985 true story of a drug runner's plane crash, missing cocaine, and the black bear that ate it. This wild thriller finds an oddball group of cops, criminals, tourists, and teens converging in a Georgia forest where a 500-pound apex predator has ingested a staggering amount of cocaine and gone on a coke-fueled rampage for more blow and blood. As said by Glenn Dunks from Screen Hub, darkly comedic horror movie about a bear that eats, inhales, and licks up cocaine like a Wall Street banker in a gentleman's club. From a bear to a comedy with very different tone. My Happy Ending is the story of a famous actress who goes incognito to seek treatment for a medical issue. While staying at the hospital, she meets three unique and remarkable women an aging rocker, a young mother, and a forever single retired schoolteacher. Together, they help her face adversity with humor and camaraderie while coaching her for the most challenging role she's ever played, herself. With Andy McDowell, directed by Tal Granite and Sharon Maiman. Next on the list is Jesus Revolution, a movie that takes you back to the 1970s where Greg Laurie and a sea of young people descend on sunny Southern California to redefine truth through all means of liberation. Inadvertently, Lori meets a charismatic street preacher and a pastor who open the doors to a church to a stream of wandering youth. What unfolds is a counterculture movement that becomes the greatest spiritual awakening in American history. Critics are mixed regarding the value of the movie from Dennis Harvey of Variety saying, one of the most appealing faith-based big screen entertainments in a while, polished and persuasive without getting too preachy, to James Berardinelli of Real Views who says, Jesus Revolution takes a fascinating period of American history and transforms it into a bland, TV movie of the week experience. Another comedy comes out, and it is Linoleum, Cameron Edwin, the host of a failing TV science show for children, has always had aspirations of being an astronaut. When a mysterious satellite coincidentally falls from space and lands in his backyard, his midlife crisis manifests into a plan to rebuild the machine into a rocket. As surreal events start to unfold around him, he slowly realizes that there's more to his life story than he once thought. Critics are generally favorable. From comedy to a drama, Juniper. Sam, a 17 young boy, has been on a self destructive spiral that could lead to his death. He returns home from boarding school to find his wheelchair bound English grandmother, Ruth, has moved in. Ruth is an ex war photographer with a lust for life and a love of the bottle. Things get worse when Sam finds himself stranded alone with her and her nurse Sarah for the school holidays. Both strong-willed characters, a battle of supremacy ensues, enabling Sam to embrace life again and for Ruth to face her mortality. A battle of wills ensues which enables him to embrace life again and her to face her own mortality. The last movie complete the genres for this week. An horror movie where, trapped in a bunker during World War I, a group of soldiers are faced with an ungodly presence that slowly turns them against each other. As paranoia and fear grow between them, the men experience the true hell of war. It offers some really good genre elements like scares, tension, and gore. But critics are not impressed. Will be the viewers to appreciate this claustrophobic horror? And this is all for this weekend. Enjoy the magic of movies using Cinemap.